Massive piles of debris from the Edenville and Sanford Dam's failure are blocking the Titabawasi River, causing all of that backed up water to seep through holes in the wreckage and erode away at lakefront property along the M30 bridge. Got it all just about cleaned up and uh, you, you know, you start looking, you start noticing the shoreline and it's, uh, it's going away and it's going away and it's going away like every day. Dan Dion lives in Edenville, right next to the M30 bridge. We spoke with him almost two weeks ago when a man from Florida named Justin Hartman came by with a crane to help remove fallen trees along his property. But now, Dion worries all of that work may have been for nothing if this water continues to erode him and his neighbor's land. It, it carved a piece of land out to where it is directly hitting his property. And uh, once his property is gone, uh, mine's next. However, Dion's not giving up quite yet and says he'll continue working to preserve what's left of his home for as long as he can. Trying to make it here. I got the electric back on. I put a new well on. And finally yesterday uh, was our first day that we came back here and we stayed. It was like, wow, we got our house back. It's, uh, it's a, a little bit of a shamble, but we have our house back. In Edenville, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM-TV5.